trains run out of track Won't be no one else to dig my hole mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I got no companion Except the way Was Zane gonna be the only one that told me? <laughs> Was Zane gonna be the only one that told me? I don't know why I leave my mic unmuted automatically. But that's okay. Thank you. What a, what a dream. Um... Oh my god, let me try and... Zane, how have you been, buddy? So many shadows. Um, busy. Matt, how was your showcase with Sanity? Okay, that's done. Perfect. You told me. My own fault for not checking beforehand. Uh, but welcome to the Valentine party. I'm very excited. Uh, I have updated our channel commands for uh, Moonshine Cherries. I have a fork this time, because last time we did this, I got everything I owned sticky. Um, and now with the pain, so I got a fork this time. Oh, I'm glad it went well, Matt. And I have a pink cocktail. And I also have a Toco Chico, because... I'm gonna try and be better hydrated. But most excitingly... Oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Uh, thank you, Slothama. Okay. Uh, before we get into this, I wanted to show you our giveaways today for this party are, um, I've got little packages, but I've also got our party exclusive stickers as per usual. Today we have Herbert, who is our beloved alligator friend, uh, named by our, mar our mod Margo after a piece of art that we have in our Red Dead game. And then we have our internet crush emote sticker holographic. Now I've had both the matte and holographic stickers on my water bottles and stuff and they dishwash just fine. So if you're concerned about that. And I also have the cutest cookies outside of the ones that Jess sent me. They're so cute, right Jess? But um, they're like, they're cassette tapes. Let's say a V-Day mix. And they're freaking adorable and they're delicious. This is from the same bakery that did my uh, birthday cake, if you were here for that stream. Also, I'm really trying to not die this stream. Oh, your hand is not broken. I love to hear that news. One of my favorite news to hear, actually, is that someone's hand is not broken. Uh, so, the last couple streams have been a bit of a mess, and I still have a scar on my thigh from a wax burn I got. Uh, just doing... Oh, no. Oh, no, Zane. I got him. Uh, okay. So, for those of you who don't know, these are cherries that have been soaked in 100 proof moonshine for, like, ever. Uh... Oh my god. Oh my god, I haven't had one of those and No, no, thank you, Zane. I'm good. I also put a cooldown timer on that one, so. Uh, 
Um. Oh my god. They're so strong. I'm five minutes into this. Why don't we keep agreeing to do these cherries? Thank you, Sam. Alright, we're playing for the first portion of this, uh, where uh, the water tastes like wine, wine which is a traveling non-combat based folklore uh, game we'll collect. I do a read aloud, which is why we're doing this first, so that you don't get messy drunk me at the end of it. Um, Lucero, and I assume some other folks will be with us later. Uh, Uh, no cooldown on bits is correct. There is no cooldown on bits. Margot herself was making threats earlier, so why is my skeleton man tired? Uh, so Lucio's not here right now, but if any gifted subs we do, I'll keep a tally on and we'll just make him drink that immediately upon arriving. I have warned him about this. It's, uh, it's the price he pays for debauchery fund money. Oh my god. I forgot how bad those cherries were. I haven't had them in, well, I guess like two months now, right? Two months. Excusez-moi. Beckoning you over, the woman shows you a letter, beautifully typeset on thick vellum. You're struck by the scent of a fancy department store. Uh Aaron, thank you so much for she the gifted subs. The Let me get out a piece of paper. Address. This address. You know? <laughs> Welcome Perhaps to the stream, Aaron. How you doing, honey? Um, I, I don't know you if I know the address. I know very... I paragraph. know like two addresses. Lorem Ipsum Dolor Sit Amet. And the address under the monogram in the letterhead. One, two, three, four, five. Make something Road up? Street. That seems mean. Any town, okay. USA. Zero. Three the drinks so blanks, far. Hopefully. Wow, that's unfortunate for him. Your shoulder. Yes? You know this place? She asks. Poor woman. She's been tricked. Okay. So for anyone who's never watched me play this game before, we, you see the circular icon in the middle of the text box. Those images change based on the type of story it's going to end up with you having. And it's uh, you meet travelers along the way and they want to hear different types of stories. So you're trying to get a nice mix of icons. So, oh, yes. Also, we got new emotes. We got Crow's emote finally. And we got um, two new animated emotes. We've got the... Um, the you tried star and then there should be a small cat slapping its its paws on the table i don't know if we'll keep that one forever but it was too cute not to have it today so that's what we get that's what we get yeah little little tip tap kitty cats uh make something you up. send her around a nearby corner at random merci she exclaims Clasping the letter to her bosom, stars in her eyes. Mon héritage est a little cat band. <laughs> she hurries down the street, gone before you can change your mind. Okay, good luck, lady. The mysterious one with a letter delivery. Okay. I don't know how to make this man less sleepy. I can't, like, put him to bed or anything, so we'll just keep wandering. Y'all are- I, I'm so glad y'all love the emotes. We'll retire some of the Valentine's Day ones after today. Or I guess after Monday. <laughs> so many cats. Um, we're in Miami now, apparently. And these little crossroads with the eyes is a traveler we have to talk to. So I'm going to collect as many stories as I can before I talk to that traveler. The blistering sun has scared even birds into the shade. But a middle-aged woman and a young couple are still collecting scraps of cotton that the machinery missed. Matt, I would never dream. 
with a ragged we can never take away the internet calls so many you. uses so much truth you spoken. Any water yeah the three of them rush over to you suddenly reanimated they pass around your canteen oh of course raid is when good that wasn't back, so much a valentine emote as it is just empty. pink because i like the and akuma demands your we still have empty animated relief. slots so sweetest thing i ever tasted it is it's she just uh i have more emotes than anybody i know just collectively so many options my little they have this little library on the side of your creator dashboard where you can see all of your emotes and like switch them in and out and i think i easily have 50 collected at this point from all of our different parties and stuff and then if uh and then i have one tier two emote and it's the it's the long ham oh and that's herbert oh aaron i don't know if you saw for anyone who has joined joined us our uh valentine stickers this is uh Herbert, and I make these. I do these designs, so. And the internet crash. I'm really pleased with these ones. Herb, a herb. First tree in a mile, and it's a stout myrtle with bald branches. No relief from the sun out here. Leaves would help. Someone hadn't replaced them all with dusty glass bottles. You cool down in the shade. The breeze blows through the bottles, making a series of heavy, hollow sounds. You think about wind chimes and the smell of fresh pies on windowsills. You think you're the, I'm the only studio who has seasonal emotes and swaps and I live and die for a theme. How do you win an in internet question? Okay, so, and probably just a little bit, um, you can, We'll do a uh, a keyword. You type it in the chat, and then I'll run an autom an automatic uh, draw, and uh, then it will just let us know who wins it. And anyone who is interested in winning these, I'm happy to mail them to you. You do have to be comfortable with sending me your address. I'm not going to send you spam mail. I'm just going to send you stickers. So, the dense but if you're not cool with that, many the giveaway might not be your best your option. Short. There's no one army around. Vouchers on. Not until you look up at the bottles. They're filled with bright blue orbs, and words echo from them. None seem to notice your presence. Oh. Listen to laughter? Can't yeah, get listen. enough. Porcelain, chrome, the rusty ones. Gotta turn those sleek faucets. Ever find me in a hardware store, I'm gonna haunt it till the cows come home. Laughter ghost tree. rumbles inside neighboring bottles. Ghost tree. The tree with bottles on its branches. Uh, this game, I do love this game. If you were at all, so uh, the soundtrack's a banger to begin with. And I love little stories and I'm a big fan of Kentucky Route Zero, which is a very similar style game. It's on sale right now for like five bucks. If you're into it, definitely grab it. Um, and this has way more hours of playtime than it was anticipating. So I think it's definitely a good bang for your buck. Sorry, just texting uh, Margo. Margo, thank you for the lurk, Akumo. And then occasionally we collect all these stories and we learn them and then we tell them to travelers. And then we can come back around and hear how they've changed and spread. It's break time at this half-finished bridge. The workers are gathered around a young man who sits on a bucket like a king. They listen rapidly to his story about the talking seagulls who tell fishermen where to find the best catch. You realize it's the story of the fisherman and his fish-calling seagulls, but heavily embellished. The young man on the bucket tells it masterfully, doing all the voices as if he's told it this way a thousand times before. What a story. It's nothing close to what actually happened, but this version is pretty good. You'll have an easy time remembering it. Okay, but when I talked to that fisherman with the seagulls, they, he threatened to have his seagulls eat me, so. Vague threat from Nightbot. Yeah, I typed that. It's a, it's a vague threat from past Queso. Uh, seagulls scream overhead as you mosey down the beach, out at sea. Ships crawl along the horizon toward the harbor. Ah, cheers, Matt. 
Ah, since will intensely search for a scrap of shade. Explore! You've enjoyed a break on the beach, staring off the edge of the world, but the sun is starting to go down. This is the, the liquor today. It's is pink. stronger. As you're about to stand, a man plonks down near you. He sits a polite distance off, but looks at you expectantly. Sorry guys, I'm just sorting something out real quick. Sorry guys. Where are we? We are on the beach. Oh, I'll greet him. I'll talk he to him. Smiles weakly. I just got fired. First Spanish American radio host in the state, and they fired me. They needed to make cuts. I get that, but Thank I'm you twice the there. He trails off. I don't know what I'm going to tell my wife. I'll be sympathetic. I could try that's the docks, that's but a, that's a hard one. There's already more men than jobs, and I could barely support the family on what they pay. He hangs his head. And my boy, I can't bring myself to tell them. I don't know what to do. He calms as the sun drops below the horizon. An expanse of darkness is ahead of you. Turning back to the lights of the city reminds you 
that the world has uh, gone For context, away. for anyone who doesn't know, this is taking part. After a long silence, taking he speaks. Place at the same time as the American. It's Dust never Bowl. going to get better, is it? It takes you a moment to notice his sobbing over the noise of the waves. I've got to tell them, haven't I? I'll go to the port in the morning and see if they'll take me. You can no longer make him out in the dark, but his hand touches your shoulder as he leaves. Uh, I've got money, but I'm very tired, so let's... A mojito! Absolutely. Uh, I've never chose Panhandle before, so let's try that. Oh, no luck. Okay, I made the wrong choice. That's how it is, I suppose. Let's see who's down here. You look good, honey. You got a light? You like a good story? I like to hear about music. people and make bets with them. I like to hear about the weird, handsome people. Get convinced by the rich jackasses who'll play blackjack and lose into the night. Dames who are lit cigarettes burning to the end. I want to be around furious people who use me and I use them. Are you one stranger? So he's on drugs. Okay. Come close to me. Hey, got any exciting stories? Like the movies? Lady, all I got is ghost stories. Quinn's Adventures. Honey, thrills is the stuff I live on. She liked it. That one will keep me going. I don't know if you've been on the road that long, stranger. Cause you ain't got that exhaustion in your face about moving cause you have to. Sometimes you just can't with people. And you, well, you look so hungry for talk right now. I'm a skeleton, I'm very lonely. Sometimes I'm in a hold'em with five other people and I look around and I think, I ain't been alone for five hours. And I might set fire to this whole place and walk out of here. You ain't there yet. Hey, got any exciting hey, stories? Hey, Gary, welcome to like the stream. Like the movies? Yeah, we got um, Crow's emote. It's actually, the bandana's the wrong color. I'm getting it fixed, but we have this one for now. And then we have two new animated em emotes. We have the You Tried star and um, a cat slapping its paws around. What does she want? Thrilling story. No, she won't like that. She just put there are plenty, plenty, plenty of emotes in there. Mm hmm. I, I don't even know. The seance. Oh, how about this one? She might like this. Oh, another cherry bomb. So, so fast. So fast. Um, hey, welcome to the stream. Um, you are going to make me eat a moonshine cherry, which is, uh, I've been greeted in more charming ways. For being here. Thank you for being here. Um, those moonshine chairs are so nasty. Thank you for the hydrate. Zane's got my back. I won big back in Reno, and I, I was drinking absinthe at the time and smoking only darn European cigarettes that made me cough like a mule and boy. <laughs> After that win, I drank the green fairy good and smoked like a redwood bonfire. Uh, 
Matt, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. Can you actually get drunk from the cherry zeros and then make your drink seem less al alcoholic so you drink more? Um, these moonshine cherries are some of the nastiest things I've ever put in my mouth. Um, and I think you probably could get drunk off of them if you ate enough. Yeah, I would think so. I would think so. It does make my cocktail seem a lot less alcoholic, though. So both, maybe. And you know what I learned? I learned to pick my tables and expect music on the jaw. Shit. Hey, got any excite? I don't know. I don't know if she would like this. Well, well, they should let you make the movies, honey. A long time ago, I left that little hole I grew up in and started to make my home wherever I was. I don't regret it. I took a pack of cards and hopped on a cargo train. And when it stopped by someone interesting, I'd let them take me to where the law can't see. And you know what's home in this here country? People. No one loves harder and tries harder than these countrymen. And at night, when the grasshopper's squeaking, I think they sing in something patriotic about trying luck and failing and trying again. Got any stories with ghosts or murderers or ghosts blood or, or murderers? Like Ma'am, you have struck upon uh, my line of work. Uh, this one. The Headless Horseman situation. God damn, you're giving me the chills, sweetheart. Thank you, ma'am. I work hard. I spent a night in jail once. And it were nicer than a prospect of going back to where I was born, you know, just to become what my mom always wanted me to be. When I was 12, she caught me kissing a girl once. And I felt like I would never get out of all the strands of her red as hell fury. That is uh, a I said content. to her, but you said I ain't to kiss no boys, and I ain't. But she and I both knew that ain't what she meant. A boy told me a bunch of sad story lies today, and I saw right through him. You bring any true ones to tell? A true story. Yeah, I mean, I just got one. I never tell the orchard one because I think it's sad. So sad and sweet. Whew, let me catch my breath a second. What do I want? <laughs> what do anyone want? I want to be claimed wholesale by something. Ma'am, please. I want to be consumed. I want to be one. I want to be the beautiful <laughs> score, the desire and respect on someone's lips. Hell, maybe I can find a job, maybe in some dive bar, serve the old men who will become my friends for life. Get complex somehow with people who are warm. <sighs> Next time, let's up the stakes. Why don't we spend some time with bourbon and five card stud? You bring the bourbon, of course. And when the moon's fuller? I might let you in on some secrets on life. Have you any? Nah. I made them bad at cards and now the devil owns me. It's rough out here to be a giant skeleton. Well, I'm gonna cast my stones the Dupree's tale? Oh, the absent one? Okay. We are... Okay. There's no way to get out here. I just have to go back up the coast of Florida to like Alabama, I guess. Hand in hand. This will be my tale of a Theoretically, if you whistle, you move faster. I don't know how legitimate that is, though. Walking, walking very far. St. Petersburg, that's where. 
<laughs> giant skeleton traveling to Alabama is my 2022 energy. Listen, if only life were so simple. If only life were so simple. Alright, we'll go to St. Petersburg real quick, see what's up. Can I... I can't... oh. Okay, sure, fine. We'll hear a story. I'll do a read aloud. It's break time at this half-finished bridge. The workers are gathered around a young man who sits on a bucket... Same intro. Bucket like a king. They listen raptly to his story about the Thunderbirds who bring storms. You realize it's the story of the storm generated by the gigantic bird, but heavily embellished. The young man on the bucket tells it masterfully, doing all the voicing as, it, as if he's told it this way a thousand times before. It's nothing close to what actually happened, but this version is pretty good. You'll have an easy time remembering it. We out of here. There's someone camping here? Who is this? Hello? Is this this lady again? She's gonna say a lot of words to me. Yep. Hi again. I always knew you'd come loping back my way and catch me checking for marks. Checking How you been, marks? traveler? I'm afraid I got myself in some damn tight spots since we last made bets with each other. It's, you give too much, someone gonna take away too much. Just don't mind me if I seem we'll like probably I'm run, uh, it the ain't first you. giveaway. It's just love I think making like its way to hour. Hell. The first giveaway in like come 10 on, minutes. Come on, come Got any stories with ghosts or murderers or blood or something like that? I do, ma'am, I do. Oh, that's right. The half the sugarcane field story was God very scary. Damn, you're giving me the chills, sweetheart. Oh, I this? Only want to know the murder oh, stories. I'm sorry. It's nothing. I guess it's been seven nights now. Still hurts. Have you been stabbed? Sometimes I shift my ribs and I think I feel something move wrong. Oh, it'll heal by itself. I don't know if that's true. That sounds like bad Got any stories with ghosts or murderers or. I'll, I will check my records, ma'am. Uh, Devil of Leeds. It's a goat with, like, leathery wings. <laughs> Just what I asked for. Mm. That spooky stuff gets my heart going like a good hand sometimes do. It ain't possible to live in a world without men. And so it ain't possible to live in a place where things ain't taken, you see? And it makes it worse if you love them. I met a no-shit blonde once who couldn't have stolen anything from me. She was that sweet. And before I could love her, a man took her and we were all back to taking again. And boy, you couldn't blame him, could you? Nothing like a uh, gambling lesbian wandering through the, uh, the wilds of Florida, you know? Hey, got any excitement? It's a very niche group. I don't know. She might like that one. She might not. No, she didn't like it. I don't think I'll if I remember the smell of the coffee my mom brewed on the stove. Thick and burnt brown. And then I think about her face when I walk through the door. Disheveled. A mug mug shot. shot. A half smile and nothing to give her or say. Like we all return home. And I think, Dupree... She'd be happier if she didn't look on a hustler for a daughter. Hey, got any ex- The things he promised me, it was like the world was looking into my soul and offering them on the devil, plane. you've met him as well? And maybe I bought into it because he was like me. Crooked, playing the customers. He would count until he knew he could make a deal with me. It's possible he's still out there. 
loving me in a bathtub of money I made him. I close my eyes and so remember that So her ribs are broken and she's a jilted like, lover? What I'm you having a hard time keeping track of everything Free. currently happening me with this like, woman. Oh, I just like looking. A boy told me a bunch of sad story lies today and I saw right through him. You bring any true ones to tell? Potentially. This one's true. Quit it, stranger. That sweet nonsense will kill me young, faster than the drinking do. That man died in front of me, ma'am. In a country like this, it's like a death sentence. Someone takes your money like that. Some kid steals from you like that. He didn't give me any. I didn't give him any money. But you can always dodge death. You can't dodge yourself. The hatred of yourself, the way other people makes you hate yourself. You think, hey, someone took from me like that? Was I not graceful, Lord? And the night's ending. I see a lot more of these sunrises than I ought to, I think. I was recently spending a lot of time out late with that boy, which I regret. But what can you do? Nothing but move on, move on, and hold some scorn for yourself in your pocket till you learn your lesson. Keep an eye out if you find yourself nearby, all right? I am never we going back again, to the tip of Florida again, ma'am. Share another bottle. And... I'm not doing it. All right, y'all. Um, we're going to run our giveaway for this hour. So the way this works is um, if you're interested in entering the giveaway, um, go ahead and type exclamation point Valentine in the chat, and I'll give you all a few minutes, and then I will draw a winner well, I'm gonna heft my up upon my weary back. yeah just I'm like that saying thank you Jess almost everybody I'll give it another two minutes and then I will roll for it through the thing uh, and now I'm in the dark in Florida it's Alabama I see it on the coastline right there put out here on the estuaries you are drawing for um, so these are our Valentine's Day party stickers this is Herbert who if you aren't familiar is an alligator that was named by Margo for our Red Dead streams this is our internet crush emote uh, come to life in a holographic sticker and then also if you're un if you're United States based um, these very cute cookies let's say Vita mix they're delicious. They came from the same bakery that my birthday cake came from, from that stream. Um, let me go ahead and draw it, though. Uh... Ah! Akumu! Akumu's won it! Congratulations! You can DM me on Discord. Well, I'm gonna scroll my name on the bed. Yeah. 
rigged. Not rigged. Not rigged. <laughs> Aaron, please. Have mercy on the chat. <laughs> he sings as he works. His voice warm and soft as the late afternoon sun. The air is sweet with the tang of recently cut sugar cane. There's a practiced, almost soothing precision to the way he works. He looks up, and nods hello. Aw, oh, not salty at all. Poor Matt. Poor Matt. Make him malicious, he says to your unasked question. I sell the black strap in town. Farmers use it for feed. Bitter as hell. Why would I? He, I, he just said it was bitter. I don't want to eat that. I don't notice shit no more. I've been doing this a while. I keep back a few bottles to share. I don't charge neither. Folks around here need what they can get. Makes a mean loaf of bread. He nods at the barrels. I'm about done filtering. Got to boil it next. Lend a hand? You help him haul the barrels over to the metal boiler. You pour in the juice and set the fire. It's hot work. He fetches water and dark bread, and you share the small meal and a smile. It's good to find another who takes joy in honest labor. Let me write down. I'm going to one that. I'm gonna cast my stones the There we go. Now I won't forget. Now I won't forget. We're hiring pickers, the farmhand says. Today only. He drives you over. 30 or 40 people are already making their slow way across an impossibly vast field that touches the hazy horizon. Back-breaking work, but the folks are friendly and the pay's okay. We obtained some money to go to Tallahassee. We are still in frickin' Florida. Still in Florida. I can't believe we have to walk all the way to California like this. You pass a meadow where migrants have made a campsite. It's been trampled to pieces. A few families are fleeing running as fast as they can back up to the roadside. An enormous oh. bull stretches himself beside some of their squashed supplies. Um, my usual instinct is to like, choose the good or neutral option, but let's you take something. Close. As you're about to grab a bundle, the bull grunts and locks an eye with you. In a voice so like the sound of far-off thunder, you wonder if you've imagined it. He says, Sorry. Sorry for what? Oh, for terrorizing the travelers? It's okay, buddy. You're a bull. What to be expected? A bus roars up on the road behind you then slows to a crawl at your side. Inside, you can barely see people moving, dancing, swaying, strings of lights, strange smoke. Want a ride? The driver calls. Before you can open your mouth, a huge hairy hand, like an animal's paw, lands heavy on it's his shoulder. It's the devil. He's got a bus now. Not this one. A voice growls. So deep it vibrates The devil your is a big old wolf in this universe. We're gonna hear a story, I suppose, before we leave this freaking state. A long black car growls up in front of this hotel. Out steps a woman in an extravagant hat and coat, followed by a whole crowd of hangers-on. Is she a singer, an actress? You don't recognize her face, but to your surprise, you recognize the story she's telling. And a sharp 
transatlantic accent. I don't know what that means. She's telling everyone in her party a story about the haunted mill operated by ghosts. It's clearly the story of the creepy mill, but changed in a few entertaining ways. Isn't that something, she asks. Her various followers agree. She plays the driver of the limousine and sweeps into the hotel like a thunderstorm of red velvet. Someone should do a picture about it. Okay, the lady I told that to told me she didn't like it, though, so... Rude. Well, I'm gonna this little panhandle. Search this house. This land, and by and by, I'll see them far and I also don't know what happens if I run out of the little Z's. Oh, nice. Never mind, this farmer solved it for me. I love when other people solve my problems. Yeah, this will be my tale. Here's a derelict school building. Shutters nailed shut. Wind drifted dunes piled against the walls. Broken desks lined up in the basketball court. While you rest on the front porch, the door is open and someone gives a startled yelp. He's an older man, tidy and unshaven carrying a toolbox in one hand and brandishing a broom in the other. Don't squat here, he growls. We're not abandoned. He gives you a hard look, but relents and joins you in the shade. I used to teach here, he says, staring off across the baseball diamond. Now they just pay me to keep the roof up. Sure. Here we go. So, where we're standing right here, that Georgia, Alabama, Florida panhandle, um, this is where my mom grew up. Right here. Let's walk up to Montgomery real quick, I suppose. I'm interested to see what they qualify as big cities to go into. have that other little menu. Montgomery apparently does not qualify. Two brothers stroll up to you in the street, wearing identical scowls and identical steel-toed boots. One spits in front of you. Don't stay in town overnight, the other says. No vagrants after dark. Ooh. Hide in town. You hide in an alley. But around midnight, you're woken by bright lights and a rain of boots. As they hurl you back onto the road, you catch two familiar faces in the crowd. This time, smiling. Oh, they beat me you up. You weren't supposed to see this. Outside town, two men, identical, Stand sentry over a third body, half covered with a canvas sheet. Might as well grab a this shovel, be that you're here, the man in front says. When you hesitate, he makes an appeal to your Christian charity. Sir, please, I work for the devil. You and John dig a hasty grave while his brother stands back, keeping a lookout. Closer now, you see the corpse shares their face. Tom was the oldest by an hour, John says. Well, I guess George and me, we got a few hours on him now. Ooh. Mean son of a bitch. Beat the life out of us. Did it at our folks that way. Got to be too much, so last night we said we'd do him in. George dragged him out here to do it. I would have helped, you know, but George is a strong one out of me and him. I'm like a little hey, mice and men situation Jesus, out here. Tom's gone. I thought I'd have trouble saying that, but I don't. John squints at the body, then freezes. Wait. Tom's nose wasn't bent like that. Despair uh -oh. floods his face. 
You killed the wrong he triplet. He looks ready to throw up. You leave him to it. Oh God. Running this far. I have low health, but like, I don't have a way to remedy that. I can whistle a little tune, which does not appear to help me all that much. The bull lounges by this construction. This bull again? Basking in the bitter sun. Upon his head is a silver crown shrouded in tongues of pale fire. Laborers periodically wander past, seemingly unconcerned. The bull catches your eye. It's just another ghost. You realize you've been staring. It's just another ghost. The bull arches his head languidly away from you. Thank you, Mothman. I'm waiting for my friend. He informs you airily. Now all the laborers are stopping and staring. Feeling reproved, you mosey along. Okay. Is he related to that other bull? Do we know? There's a couple down here. Mobile. They have a, um... Oh, hey, Jess. I'm gonna liquor for you. I have a hard time figuring out prices for things in this channel. Because I have so many people that have so many points. So I just guess. I just guess. C.P. Pennebaker. The dandy approaches seconds after you enter the saloon and extends his hand. Syndicated in 16 papers. Trying to find out what life is honestly like for folks like you out Pigwig. here. Pigwig. Trade you a drink for your story? Sir, well, you see, it all started when the devil tricked me and replaced my high straight with a hand of tarot cards. And then he turned out to be a wolf. And now I have to wander the country without my flesh to collect stories for his scrapbook or something. C.P. Pennebaker takes down your tail in a frenzy. This is precisely what folks want to hear. He cries. He pumps your hand vigorously on his way out Man, the door. Man, making me pay for my own whiskey. Leaving you with the bill. I hope he gets what's given. Getting. Gets what's coming to him. Jesus. You didn't think the musician would even notice you. He seemed off in his own little world. Idly strumming and muttering along in tune. My name's Queso. He winks. Now watch this. He sings, Baby, won't you please come home, but with your name in the lyrics. Now, he clenches his jaw. You've taken my art without recompense for the labor. Now, the god I pray to ain't a violent one, but I curse you for that. And Sir, you believe you me, can't scare artists, me. wherever you go, will know you ain't a friend of him. As you leave, he loudly sings a song about the devil. You don't know whether he's referring to the god he prays to or you. Okay. Um. Really unsure what to do about this low health situation. There's a city over here. New Orleans, okay. Good enough for me. Let's see if we can earn some money and buy a snack for our good health. I am tempted just to uh, skirt the coast and go to Texas. Uh, we'll, we'll earn money this time. No money! I'm gonna have low health forever. Lenny's Antiques has a heady smell. 
Polish, maybe, or incense. Sunlight doesn't penetrate the blacked-out windows. The place is crammed with furniture and curios. The woman behind the counter beckons you over. I know the look of you. Can I know I what you're here for. Game? I was under the impression I couldn't die in this game, but now I'm concerned about it. She sets a tray on the counter. On it sits a hodgepodge of stitched leather pouches of various shapes and sizes. Some have neck or wrist straps looped through them. She waves a hand across the display. I don't have any money, but maybe she'll just give it I to me. I don't want your money. You got something better. Uh -oh. She licks her lips. She could take my, my skeleton bones. Flat palm. She could take a little knuckle bone. Her knife is fast. Oh, God. She slices a thin line across your palm and snatches your hand and squeezes. He stole my fucking blood. She, as you reach the door, a man calls after you. Is this yours? His name badge reads Lenny. He's holding He's, up a leather pouch. This ghost really got it out for me. You take it. Jess, did you end up doing all that shop. baking? I know a coworker had approached you with hopes that you would bake some cookies for them. Did you do that thing? Or did you or did you do or did you not? I selling gray gray? That means gray gray. Well, I'm gonna scroll my name on Who the even knows? Oh absolutely not. That's the mood. That's the mood. What is this? Hop a train? Yeah. Chicago? Why not? We'll go all the way to Chicago. I can die! What? I got beat to death by a railroad officer? <laughs> what is this bullshit? Well, I'm gonna scroll my name on the hmm? Yeah, it appears to be a timeline of every interaction I had. What happens now? Continue? Chapter 2 Bad luck again, but there's no shame in dying. Everyone does it. The devil's back! Fuck me, am I right? Can't get rid of this guy. You still have a job to do. But if you want to learn anything more from me, now is the time. And I'm sure we'll end <laughs> F up in the chat for Queso's before you're through. Vagrant traveling career. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I have to tell him stories? Oh, we do have the new You Tried Star. Do you think people are trapped in this country? Shackled to the land? Or trapped by this country, perhaps, seduced into believing it has all that they need and that none will Kit ever Kat. be better. Pity patters. That is wild. I was I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Tell the devil your stories. It's a big country, and if you're having trouble making headway, hop a train. Hitch a ride. You tried and died. Beat to death by a railroad guy. Um, chat, have any of you ever hopped a train and died because of a railroad man? And if so, uh, would you please share the story and your methods of resurrection? For no particular reason. On the one hand, the past is dead and gone. On the other... It seems like it always I don't think I can make his eye open. That no one ever learns. The devil's never gonna trust me. I'm too good at playing the fiddle.
You had very good insurance at the time. Excellent, excellent. People love this country. We just hit, we're going into our second hour of the stream, which means we can run another giveaway this hour. If you want it towards the beginning of the hour, let me know. If you want it towards the end of the hour, let me know. But in so many ways, unrequited, passionate, Also, for everyone looking, thank you for being here. I really appreciate your support. And I hope you're enjoying this. There's a surprising amount of joy in a country that's so depressed. The Great Depression. It just goes to show that people can find light in the deepest go on your way, Seeker. I'm sure we'll meet at least once more. Think about what we've discussed and good luck on the rest of your time. How many times am I allowed to die? I'm in New Orleans again. Can't earn any more money. Leave. Can't see any bubbles from here either. Well, I'm gonna scroll my name on the bear Up a train to Chicago. Let's hope I don't get the shit kicked out of me again. Hydrate. We're hydrating with Tobo Chico right now. You, I made it this time. Good job, me. We've arrived in Chicago. Now it's time to look for Bo's house. I can't, we can't do that. That's harassment. This is illegal. The storm swept in just before sundown, heralded by a purple sky and electricity in the air. He sought shelter alongside a grizzled farmer. All he can do is pace, muttering to himself. Can't just stay here. You catch. Gotta find her. He looks up at you. My daughter was... My daughter was out down the road. He balls his fists. God, fuck this. He hauls open the door. Shielding his face from the fierce dust. Yeah, I'll help look the for a daughter. The dust scours your skin, and razor winds whip at your clothing. You struggle for breath. The maelstrom has turned the world murky red. I you didn't know they got... The well, I guess Chicago is in the Midwest. I wasn't aware they got dust storms there, though. Keep you going. press on through the storm. You see the farmer up ahead. He's on his knees. A great, dark shape made from swirling dust looms over him. You manage no more than a cough. The dust thing engulfs the man in his body. The storm whips faster. You can't breathe. You have to get back to shelter. Okay, no luck. You make it to safety, but don't manage any sleep. The storm settles in the early hours. You find the farmer laid out in the street. His corpse, a shriveled mass. He has one arm stretched out in front of him, as if to crawl. Okay. It took half my health with it. It's pretty rude, honestly. Um, we'll dip, we'll dip over to Milwaukee real quick, get this, these couple stories, then we'll go into Chicago, see if we can make some money, buy a snack. Surrounded by fields of corn and rye, a small farm lies fallow. Its tiny stable crumbles into disrepair, and foxtails sprout from its fields. Inside, the sunlight filtering in through two small windows turns to hazy gray shadows. Hey, Margo, and welcome thick to the stream. Dust that blankets the interior. It's not much in the way of furniture. But on a rustic kitchen table, How you doing, a girl? handwritten note catches your eye. Never open. Don't trust you to convert time zones in your head ever. That's me all the time. I've got a... I don't normally have 
that problem in my chat specifically because y'all are all within like the United States generally. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's fine. My brain does not want me to swallow that, but I did it. Mama didn't rain no bitch. It's addressed to Martha and unsigned. Her name is written in the stiff letters no, of a no! man for whom literacy is more a formality. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the bits, Jess, first of all. Thank you. Um, Matt, if you're ever this side of the ocean, I'm happy to provide you. Oh my god. Matt, I got a question. Do you hate me? Specifically? Have you been waiting all this time to tell me that you hate me via moonshine? The cats feel like mockery. The cats feel like mockery. I gotta take a drink before you. <laughs> Matt, you freaking jerk. Thank you, Mothman. The only one who appears to care about my well-being here. Alright. That's the third one. And two community subs. Okay, that's two drinks for Lucero. One, two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. Five. Actually, will you do this for me? Okay, this is the third cherry. It doesn't get better. It gets worse every time. God, okay, I can do this. I am a strong, independent woman, and if I want to ruin my own life, I can. Ugh. Okay, I had to drink this so I get a new one. Am I that good at chugging? I don't know. Gonna really open your throat for that. Aaron, thank you for the 250 bits. Did you want... Um... <laughs> did you want a moonshine cherry for that? Or are you... Let's read if this. you find this, I'm already gone. Don't come looking for me. The rest is scratchy spirals and circles of halfway readable writing about the oh. noises from the cellar and the hunger in the darkness. Oh. The cellar door at the edge of the abandoned kitchen calls to your attention. Noises from the cellar? Yeah, let's go to the cellar. The door is unlatched. The ground below you won't let me walk off on this one? I appreciate it. Do you have snacks to balance out the drinks? I didn't put it on the emotes or anything. Upon it. Only ancient piles of chains and manacles. 
slowly turning to rust. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> this fight case, though. Except it's like six of you against one of me. But I, I, I do very much appreciate your uh, love, support, and um, bits for the debauchery fund. Okay, abandoned farmhouse. That was super creepy. Oh my god. Oh my god. See, now I feel like I've recovered, but I know that it's gonna hit me again in like 10 minutes. Ooh! The car also, is for anyone um, who's You're donating bits, uh, keep an eye out for it, because I think storm. some of you are about to hit um, milestones where you are unlocked the bit the storm front. Jouncing and because I've got up to one 10k pothole away in there. From being swallowed by the Three community dust. sub gifts. Oh my god. A figure clings to Thank you so much, Anonymous Gifter, for back. doing so. Big hype. Big hype. <laughs> okay. Lucero's gonna hate us. Lucero is going to hate us. <laughs> I personally think Yeah, we need three more. Um How have you not we you're on a level three hype train, honey. Uh Catch you a ride. grab the straps yeah. and haul yourself up. Don't kill oh. my son. <laughs> Shouts the woman on the back. <laughs> Something with That's the hype emotes and don't kill my son is hilarious. She's wrapped in Fair a scarf three. and yeah. aviation goggles, juggling a pen and a notebook while hanging on the That's very sweet of y'all to hype train me. The dust scours your face and rips at your clothes. Y'all, everyone, uh, can I get a shout out for Matt? from one of the mods um, because he's my favorite streamer to watch. Obviously, like I'm my favorite streamer, hands down. Um, and he is six hours ahead of us and is uh, tuning in just to be nice. So uh, thanks for being here. He will never be playing Mass Effect, so don't go there. Um, but he is playing uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla and um, God of War right now on his uh, Brand freaking new PC that he only broke once. We're not done with our observations. She threads one arm through the straps and makes what another. What is up with this unexpected identifier? It comes out you know? illegible. That's so Blast nice it. of you. Get so inside nice and you. take dictation, will you? Um, we're gonna run another giveaway in uh, about five minutes. So anyone that's interested in entering, um. Go ahead and type exclamation point Valentine. And um, then we will roll for another winner in like four minutes, five minutes. There you go. There you go. For those of you who haven't seen, our giveaway stickers this year are um, this year, this party. I do so many stickers. Is Herbert, which is our alligator name by Margo, and our internet crush emote in holographic. And I've had these on my water bottles, all sorts of stuff, and um, they go dishwasher safe, whatever. It's usually a character pulled from the game title that causes unexpected identifier. What were you playing this morning? Just Assassin's Creed. Oh, it has a colon in it, doesn't it? Also, for my United States people, we have uh, fun cookies from my favorite bakery uh, for Valentine's Day. This one says, I keep looking for the yee to my ha, but I'm only finding the hell to my na. So, if you, if you win and you're in the United States, I'll make you the stickers and a cookie. Which is um, exciting. Also, Margo, we did get a crow's emo in and... Yeah, let's just you chase the storm. Through the open back and our, um, our pitter-patter cats and our you tried star. You scribble furiously while she okay, I'm gonna roll the finer quantities right after this. of the dust and Too fitty. assaulting the car. Is that another cherry? Her voice is hoarse. That'll do. I'll, I mean, I'll do it. She bangs on the roof. Judith, let's go. <laughs> There's so many emotes. Okay. Chesa it up? What? 
Yep, Mossy is the highest. That's Mossy or T-Rex. That's the highest bit emo. And then we have Herbert's the lowest one. And then we have a hard eye cactus, which is the second. That's 250 bits of some Topo Chico. Okay. Listen, unlike the rest of y'all, um, I have to clarify with Aaron because it's not always wreck yourself. Thank you. Thank you for the hydrates. Y'all got any plans this weekend? Y'all big Valentine's people? Uh, downtown bustling behind you. Lake Michigan stretching before you. Chicago is beautiful, but there's a dark heart to this place. Uh, that's Bo. That's Bo. Earn money. Oh, shit. Here we go. Thank you guys for the hype train. Completed on a level three. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Okay, we're gonna draw today's cleaning in case today. I appreciate that. Going to third wall, third wheel, your roommate and her BF. I don't know if I'm watching the Super Bowl tomorrow. I think I am. Given, it depends what the hangover's like. If the hangover's awful, then I'll just stay home. We're gonna roll it. Gary, Gary, you won. Gary, you won. Oh, you claim nepotism? I don't know. It said you... It said you entered. I don't know. Take it up with Nightbot. I use Nightbot to run the giveaway. Gary, if you don't want it, you can bequeath it to someone else. That's up to you. Probably care. Stop the steal. I don't know how to... I don't know how to fix it. Listen, I'm not good at this. <laughs> I just try my best. <laughs> you think Nightbot misspelled Matt Orloff? Easily done. That is, um, especially a guy with such a cool username. Of course I meant to spell that. Uh, Shouts Echo. Let's do the thing. Okay, I need to buy a snack. A deep dish pizza. A hot dog. Nice. Explore. It's the midday, and yet this whole neighborhood is eerily quiet. Everyone seems to have retreated into their homes as if warm. Yeah, I went and saw a movie last you night. You soon realize what? The reciprocating sound of a Thompson gun. Emptying mm, its drive. The mob. Is it the Irish or the Italian mob in the Chicago? Probably both. Okay. Both mobs. You get behind a car, putting the engine block between you and the sound. But it's muffled, coming from inside a building. You're Al Capone no had a bar in Chicago? That's think. pretty cool. So you allow yourself I've had a drink at a bar in San Antonio where Teddy car. Roosevelt formed the Rough Riders. And running down the cobble street. It's pretty cool. Street, it's in a it's in a like the in fine like a sub level of a nice clothes. hotel down there. He has his hands out. Mouth it is very cool. Open, the cocktails are good too. Margo, something. whenever you make it down here, I'll take but you there. You don't catch what he says. He's drowned out by gunfire. And his body slumps to the ground. Okay. I'll keep watching. The men responsible. Three abreast in dark overcoats and wide hats. Walk up to him to check on the body. The smallest. Train station? 
I don't have any money. Okay. And if I hop a train, they're gonna beat the shit out of me again. I don't know that for certain. I think in 2023, 2024, your family vacation would be to Texas. Um, it's a great place to vacation. I vacationed here many times at different places. It's a large state. The baby buffalo lies tangled by a fence. Oh, anyways, I saw a movie last biting night. into its flesh. Oh. Please. It says, I must reach the sanctuary before they find me. I'm always going to save a buffalo. The light here has a thin quality. Colors are oddly muted. There's a taste of something old in the air. They were hunters of my kind. I am the last born. Every year it repeats. I must run. They must chase. It is the cycle that lets my people survive. You hear hoofbeats. A ways back down the road, a cloud of dust rises. The buffalo struggles. My Please, tongue's on them. Help me. I don't love that. The yeah, wire cuts into your hands, but you untangle the animal. The you run alongside the buffalo. Not far. It grunts. Just ahead. You see the boundary. A line Carry of the buffalo distract the, the riders? But the hoofbeats sound close. The ground dips and the beast stumbles and I don't falls. think I can carry a buffalo. I'll be on you any second. That seems unlikely. You stand defiant in the path of the riders. They're coming in fast, wreathed in dust, but you hold your nerve. The lead rider I am the bravest the in all the moment. land. The other two haul on the reins, sending their horses sliding. Oh, I'm tipsy. You're thrown into the dirt. The buffalo crosses the line and turns with a defiant bellow. A primal sound that far outstrips its size. It drags its feet through the dirt, kicking up a cloud of dust. When it settles, the four are nowhere to be seen. You hear the distant clamor of a herd in motion. Well, good for us. Anyways, I saw Death on the Nile, which is the new uh, Agatha Christie detective movie. They're remaking them. It's so good. It's so much fun. I def rec definitely recommend you go see it. Um, can I take... Oh, there's someone I can talk to over here. Apparently, there's 22 of these little campsite people, different ones. I thought it was like six, but I was wrong. A new guy. I've met a lot of people like you on this road. Like me? Sir, I am set from the devil himself. There's something you want from it, isn't there? Yeah, a way out of the deal that I made with this devil. A desire that scratches and scrapes away at the sides of your body. Does being out here feed that part of you? No. It's that way for me. Living in a state of motion, resting nowhere, returning to no one. I mean, it's cool. We all deal with breakups in a different way. I've been a wandering ghost for a while now, and... I'll be that way for some time to come. But that's a fate I should have known I was in for. Thank you, Marga. I'm a poet, after all. Oh, a poet. I need an optimistic story right now. Something to put a smile on my face. Can you think of any like that? Yeah. You might like this. That's a good one. We do reach up like that, towards hope. Joy. I've had joy in my life. I feel like guys who, during the Great Depression, said they were poets are give the same kind of energy of guys now who are like, I'm going to start a podcast. I used to be part of a I group of mad prophets, rabble rousers, channelers of holy knowledge. I think I'm right. <laughs> That's the same energy. 
We'd get a couple gallons of wine, bring them over to our friend Pauline's house. Hell yeah, Pauline. Then we'd shout these incandescent you got the one stable verses friend that supports to each your other antics. for the land and the sky. We were loud late into the night. You're a cult? What good would those words do if they didn't reach the head? Sometimes I want to hear a sadness that resonates with my own. You yeah, I do. The tragedy in that story, it's real. Have you ever tried writing poetry? No, me, myself, no. I actually, I used to think that I was decent at poetry, and then I had a couple literature classes in a row where they told me my poetry didn't make any sense, so I don't do that anymore. Uh, now I stream on Twitch. I know sadness. These days, the melancholy just settles Sometimes over me Sometimes folks just look like at Oscar Wilde and are like, fall. I want to be a it six foot tall, dark and handsome bisexual. And I accommodate it. Listen, give me a couple inches and I could do that for you. I start to think, well, the world isn't made for being happy in, not for someone like me. My old friends have their happiness. Jess and Deborah, Pauline. Oh, uh, you got friend zone, my dude. Silas too, maybe. And good for them. It'd be wrong to begrudge someone their happiness, wouldn't it? No matter how jealous you are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes I want to hear a sadness that resonates. I do, I know a couple. Murder. Little Ben's struggle. That seems like something he would like. He's a miner. That one was like getting locked out in the cold with nothing but your sorrow. I liked it. I can tell you, I would be, if this man approached me in a bar, I'd be annoyed. Choice. That's hard. You believe you know what's right and what's wrong? Absolutely. A lot of people do. And I have to say, I wonder about those people. I wonder about you, sir. Did someone tell them and they believed it? Did they figure it out for themselves? When things got rough, would they stick to those ideals? You know what I what I was informed of last night? That apparently Army Hammer was, com was accused of trying to eat people? Of cannibalis cannibalistic tendencies? Hmm? Over, over text. On like a Tinder. This was, he was flirting with women by threatening to eat them. Or something like that. Does anyone know anything about that? Uh, I got approached by a man trying to hit on me and peddle his music in a grocery store last night on your hunt for almond paste. That is the most LA sentence you have ever said to me. That is nuts. Even the strongest of us can shrivel away in the face you of the world. You made cookies! Regular folks like you That's and cute. me can hardly do better. Uh, okay. Sometimes I want to hear a sadness that hey, resonates no with my own. Do you know any stories like that? Jess, is the uh, yum for the cookies or the cannibalism? Please care clarify for the chat. Why does this man want so many sad stories? Cookies. Oh, that's good. I don't think I'm in the intended audience for that joke. Wearing his mask around his chin? Bondage. Yes. I've been feeling trapped lately. Bondage! <laughs> Oftentimes, I'll notice my brain getting Sir. stuck in a rut. Send pics! Send pics! It's an entertainment man who can't wear a mask correctly. I'll think I Maybe tried he's to got defy guilt. what's normal. So, it makes sense I'd be punished for it. I've been punished by others plenty. But I also, the more I wander, the better. I, less time to get trapped stewing on the past. Less time to think about what went wrong. How doomed things are. I've been aching for something like a good ghost story. You know anything oh, scary like that? Oh, I know like so that? many ghost stories. Ooh, buddy.
Someone's doing a scat situation. Maybe he'll like this one. I like the hatchet. Also, there's my drink refill, Mario. I don't I always know. like the spooky ones, but you told that one well. Thank you. Change. I've seen a lot of change. Everything. Everyone. I thought I had is gone. A friend Pauline, she had a big house and a husband who often wasn't around. So naturally, that's where we went for readings. We were wild, radiant, sweaty, sweaty. alive. All kinds of people came and all of them were poets. All of them with such beautiful soul. Each with so many things to say and the true heart to share them. It's hard to believe that's all gone now. I miss the old group. I really do. I still have that image in my head. Pauline's house. The poets. Jess. Jess, me. what did you do to break this man's heart? But on top of them all, there's Silas. In my memory, he looms. He haunts. Do you ever meet someone so far above everyone else? It's like they were from a different plane altogether. Yeah, I've met the devil twice now. So, that yeah. was him. A divine presence among normal human beings. Silas was part of the group, but at the same time, he wasn't. He was, we all held him in respect. We were in awe of his power as a writer. Oh no. In Rev I still love him. Oh, oh, he's gay too. Look, I'm headed out this way. If you find yourself out there, maybe we'll meet again. Okay. Another cherry. It's a rough one today, folks. How many do I have? I got eight left. I got eight left. Uh, Sothamoth is on site. And are you willing to take a cherry for the bits? He says yeah. Yeah, he's willing to take a cherry for the bits. If you're gonna, if you're gonna get bits. Just, just, yeah, bits first, then delivery of the goods. I got a fork for the cherries this time, y'all. Oh, there it goes. Come here. I'll even let you, here. Everyone, this is Sloth and Moth, also Mothman. They're all boozy. Why do you handle them so much better than me? Right. You're an absolute jerk. Like, you seem totally fine. It's no secret that I can't hold my liquor, but I... Whenever there's a direct comparison. Uh, where'd he get that shirt? Walmart. A year ago. Walmart a year ago. Were we already in Chicago? I don't have any money still, so we have to leave. Alright, <laughs> write that down. Pierre! I hope I don't get the shit beat out of me. I only have half health. Oh, I lived. I'm gonna die. Where is where is Pierre? Where am I? All right, let's do a reading. Have you seen Banana Wednesday take moonshine cherries like the normal maraschino? So I think you just have a thing with moonshine. Banana's doing moonshine cherries now. 
We had discussed this briefly. I feel like I've been in their streams recently, so I don't know how I would have missed that. She's telling everyone in her party a story about the man who had to travel 600 miles to find a single job. It's clear the story of the couple parted by unemployment, but changed in a few entertaining ways. Isn't it something? Her various followers agree. She pays the driver of the limousine and sweeps into the hotel like a thunderstorm of red velvet. Someone should do a picture about it. The moonshine cherry is just making me want to throw up, so. Deep in the fields. You come across a group of young men clearing weeds and sod from a roadside plot. Pitchforks flying, weeds dying. You almost don't notice that the dark lump beside them is a dozing boy, lying smack dab in the middle of their work. There's an odd frenzy to the way these boys are ripping the sod apart. When they notice you approaching, they jog over and stand silently between you and their sleeping comrade. The youths share nervous looks. The oldest steps forward. G get going, he blurts, leveling a pitchfork at Are you digging a grave? His hands are shaking. He seems serious. You step closer, and the ringleader loses his nerve. He died, he blurts. He was sweating and crying and he just fell over. They won't come get us with the truck till sundown. You realize now that the sleeper has been posed. The ashy shadow on his face wasn't cast by a tree. Okay. Here's a truck parked here. The driver mistakes your look for curiosity. You want to see something interesting? He asks, pointing to the trunk. He opens it. There's hundreds of metal tubes with little numbered screw-on caps sorted in I also racks. don't take shots that well, though, so it may just me be a me and a liquor thing. The only shots I can tell take cleanly are Jaeger shots, and I don't think that's a sign of, like, a normal human. That's probably a sign We've of been like, a, like an issue. He said, It's my job to study soil health. The trunk has a map taped to it, marked with numbered dots. I can show you the one from your hometown if you see it here. It's an official looking map, but the state borders and rivers are wrong. Half your county is missing. The surveyor offers you a coin for directions to your hometown, but his notes are funhouse mirror English writing. What language do I know? He murmurs. We learn so much from you folks. Uh, we'll probably do two hours of this and then we'll switch to GTA. Because I love this game and I will play it for six hours straight, but, uh... What's across the river? I don't see nothing. I see stuff this way though. Time to walk. It appears we're in the we're in the Dakotas because there's the Missouri River. Capital of one of the Dakotas, I think, but don't ask me which one. We just crossed the border. I think into South Dakota. And I think Bismarck is South Dakota. Yeah. Here is the capital of South Dakota. A hurried little girl I don't know, Zane says collides different. into you with a wheelbarrow full of hay, nearly knocking you out of your shoes. Oh. I'm so sorry. You nod. But the way the girl fusses over the wheelbarrow, was that apology meant for you? Lost? Me? No, not at all. 
She stands up taller and squares her shoulders, projecting an image of adulthood so stiff she looks about to tip over. But I guess I could use a little help. Can I ask you something pretty, please? Yeah, well, what's up? I found this critter, but my daddy won't let me keep it unless I take real good care pretty of it. Pretty much in the dead center of the state? Relating this dilemma has put her on the verge of tears. Do you know how I can be the very best pet the owner in the world? Not the border? Oh, I know. It, it, it runs up through them, doesn't it? The girl bursts into hysterical laughter. Like she just heard the... F it she doesn't have a mouth? so bright. That's all it takes? Yes. Gosh. I'm supposed to be going to South Dakota so, this year to go to the so Badlands. A woman waits while a man in a truck fills two of her buckets with scoops of whitish powder from a bin. She sees you staring. Wanna make some cash? She takes you up the drive to her farmhouse, where her son and daughter are mixing something in a metal barrel. The California Badlands? She says. The idea is that I'll get to Poison. go horseback riding through the Badlands. The town bought enough for everyone. But we Lucero, gotta mix it ourselves. Uh, I have good and bad news for you on your She'll break. Pay you to there. Help. Um, can I get a what are our tallies at? Eight drinks. Okay, um, so we have eight gifted subs, which are waiting for you when you get here. <laughs> so um bring a bring a full drink. <laughs> You use a broom handle to mix the poison with bran. The teens watch from the... Oh, yikes. Damn, it's true. I died! God damn it. Not again. I got poisoned. I got poisoned. I'm sorry, Mr. Wolfman. Bad luck again, but there's no shame in dying. Every you still have a job to do. But if you want to learn, and I'm sure we'll end up seeing more of each other. I just gotta tell him stories till he lets me go. Um, I did try, Matt. I tried so freaking hard. On the one hand, the past is. Who were you uh, showcasing today over with Team Sanity? On the other, it seems like. Normally, I try to lurk a little bit in those, but. I'm busy getting ready for this nonsense today. Oh, I love Lucira's emotes Maybe so much. Maybe everyone feels that their choices don't matter in the larger scheme of things. Ooh, little hot dogs. But somehow things manage to change for better. I'm just telling him random stories until I get out of the screen. Something you may have noticed. Joy comes in small snatches to everyone throughout. Perhaps heaven isn't a single place. Binary shark? Crab games? What is crab games? Please enlighten me. You chasing around little crabs? I'm your boss. Eating crabs? You, you are the crab? Me. You so have obtained crabs through uh, a romantic interaction. Crab game is a PCS game. PC. Whoa! Whoa! I've lost control of my tongue. Um, it's a meme. It's a silly multiplayer game based off Squid Games and the Netflix show. Oh, Squid Games really fucked me up. It made me really sad. <laughs> but I'm not in charge. I don't- you fucking switch my cards, you fucking wolf. Do you have faith in the dream still? Is there another dream that we could build? A better go on your way, Seeker. Think about what we've dis- and good luck. I can't believe that lady poisoned me. Do I still get the money? Is this like I- no. God damn it.
I have... Oh wait, I have money though. Hot dog? Hot dog. How rude. Of what? Me, the crabs, long ham. Long ham. I have a deep love for the long ham emote. No, I don't want to go to New Orleans. Let's see if we take a train anywhere else. Cincinnati, sure. How rude that you poison me. Yeah, locust bait? Quinn's on this. Stranger, it's good to see you again. That's my buddy. He's you know, a child. I'm gonna see this whole world one day. But for now, I just got my sights set on seeing all 48 of the great U.S. I already seen 10 whole states. That's better than my folks ever done, that's for sure. How many states have I been to? Georgia, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, Kentucky, Texas, Florida, Maine, New York. Massachusetts, California, Hawaii. I stopped counting halfway through. I think I've been to other ones too. Colorado, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, West Virginia. Except for anywhere up in New England. New England's beautiful. I really like Maine. Plenty of townies and even some tramps treat me like I'm kid simple, but I ain't helpless, and I only act it when I ain't got. N I do right fine on my own. Don't need nobody but Cass and Flip. I'm in the mood for something <laughs> I mean, it's cold. I went in the summer and it was still pretty chilly, but gorgeous. You're in a silly mood. You're the same as Margo. I usually like the scary stuff. In the past is. Hey, tell me a funny story. I don't have a funny story, I don't think. A couple good jokes can get you out of a. F I remember lots of folks talking Bye, about Lucy, fortune we'll see you later, buddy. starting my travels. Talk on the river was about them populists and their Louisiana governor. Some folks say they was up to no good, that they was lazy and un-American, cheating fate with government meddling. Others said we all got the right to be kings, if and we. I suppose I ain't right in line with neither, but I don't think there's nothing un-American about needing help. Hey, do you got any really thrilling stories to tell? The goat. Were you trying to scare me? Buddy, mm, I don't know. Sadness. Just kiss the hardest In one the to city, talk to. They want you to feel like a giant among giants. Cities serve to make the small. I want to hear one of them. Ventresome. Goat man. The devil of leads. It was a goat with big wings. I usually like the scary stuff. Sorry, but you're I hear knocking and I can't punch, tell if it's... I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a... Oh, the Jersey Devil. Okay. 
is Leeds in Jersey? I thought, I didn't think it was in the United States, I'll be honest, so I thought it was a made up thing. Change. Change okay. ain't coming, stranger. It's already here, so they I say. Know. I know like three things, Max. Got a whole country tied together with rails and roads and still can't feed everybody between you and me. I think that ain't ever gonna change. Can or can't got nothing. Hey, tell me one of those ex You don't like any of the stories they tell you. Were you trying to scare me? <laughs> well, you didn't go- hmm. There you go. Like I said, he gets riled now. He's good to have- Well, where you head next? Decided yet? Leeds is in Alabama? God. I'm going up the road this way myself. Hope I'll see something fun. I generally do, you know. There's interesting things to see. Nice. Now we're in Cincinnati. This is the last city we'll do, folks, and then we'll switch over to GTA for, uh... Uh, Margo Born had a request to do some races, so... One big storm might bring the whole structure down. A man, he sighs. My boy is missing. I haven't seen him since last night. He swallows. He ain't the type to run off, neither. Can you spare a minute to help look? I'm worried sick. Saying I have no idea. Interior of the barn is dim, even with the great doors thrown open. We can do that. We you can make that the happen. check the animal stalls, but find nothing. As you look up to the loft, you spot a gap in the roof. A bit of cloth hangs down. Perhaps a shirt. You climb the ladder and make your way across the roof. A trail of empty beer bottles leads you past a discarded shirt and to the base of the silo. You climb up. There's a hole in the silo roof. A rupture where rotten wood gave way under something large. You maneuver your way along the edge, keeping your weight off the rotted panels. You poke your head inside. Yes, yeah, this is at least half 12 people a year die from grain. being in a silo. He's been dead for half a day at least. The man's waiting at the bottom of the barn ladder. Anything? He chokes back a sob. I told him not to go up there. I told him. He looks up at the Yeah, I would not want to be suffocated by grain. You, tears Tipsy case with GTA races, okay. Cheeks. Well, we'll finish this story, and then listen? I'll take a quick rally break, and we'll switch over to GTA. Perfect. All right, enjoy the soundtrack for like four minutes. Talk amongst yourselves.
Hi, chat. You've put too much red pepper in your lunch. Look at all these little... Oh, uh, we hydrate. Okay, great news, guys. I stood up, and I'm not as tipsy as I thought I was. I am still tipsy, but not as much as I thought I was, and I'm feeling rallied. Um, here's the thing. We're going gonna, we're gonna to switch to GTA. It is going to stop the stream momentarily, so just stay in the chat. Thank you, Matt. What a, what a doll. What a dream he is, you know? Really just making the situation better for everybody. But yeah, just stay in the chat and I'll be back with you in like, I don't know, 60, 90 seconds. 